Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel Nikhil Shfrags. Uh, I have been uh, exploring the Middle Eastern perfumes in the last one week extensively. I have had a tremendous experience in Hyderabad, India. First of, all, first of all, let me thank one of my subscribers and now a friend, Sayyad Khunmir. Uh, Sayyad, if you are watching this video, let me thank you because you were the guy who gave me the heads up for this Al Haramain and uh, Ajmal shops next to each other and it was fairly easy for me to you know just go out when I was free out of my conference uh, I could actually go and experience it firsthand it was my first experience in a proper Middle Eastern fragrance uh, outlet and it was just mind-blowing because I've come out with a lot of knowledge uh, a lot of misinformation has been cleared and it was a great experience so guys after going through you know the torture of testing out perfumes, I tested more than 200, uh, not 200, I'm so sorry, 100, 150 perfumes um, in about six hours. It was really, uh, really exhausting, but I had a great, great time. And I am going to give you 10 solid reasons why you want to go out and try Middle Eastern fragrances. Okay, 10 solid reasons. The first reason is that you want to smell different. Guys, I've been using designer fragrances uh, since a long long time since my teenage uh, years you know and uh, uh, there's a problem with these fragrances a lot of designer fragrances have a similar vibe vibe and they are so common that I was actually quite bored of them so I wanted to go and explore more and more of the other fragrance houses or uh, you know uh, products from other genres where uh, uh, I could, you know, find something really new, which will give me more attention, which will get me more attention than the regular stuff. So that is reason number one. And of course, you know by now that Middle Eastern fragrances have some really lovely uh, variety of fragrances to try out. So guys, that is my first reason th that I want to smell different. Reason number two is, of course, quality. There is no compromise in quality, guys. When we are talking about these perfumes, these perfumes... I can guarantee you have the top-notch raw ingredients. Uh, if you have been exposed to spices, to black musk, oak moss, tree moss, and all these rare exotic ingredients, you will know um, when you smell these perfumes that uh, you are getting a quality ingredient or not. So they do not compromise. It's an affordable luxury out there in the Middle East. So these guys just simply cannot compromise. Uh, so that is a solid reason number two. Reason number three is obviously, uh, you know, use of exotic, rare or banned substances which are not present in the Western fragrances. There is, there's a reason for that. Some of these uh, rare ingredients are sourced from animal sources and some rare, uh, you know, uh, plants or herbs which are becoming extinct and there are also some health reasons uh, even um, uh, you know allergies and these things um, are associated usually with uh, natural uh, ingredients as well so IFRA regulations have been very strict with them but Middle Eastern fragrances still are using the rare substances which make the perfume last longer or actually give a multi-dimensional character to their perfumes uh, which is very difficult to find in the western perfumery and still you are paying a very decent price for this as compared to the western fragrances because they are using synthetics instead of oak moss, tree moss all these uh, ingredients and they are still charging the exact amount of money that they were charging like 10 years back 12 years back so that is one good thing uh, going with uh, uh, Middle Eastern fragrances the reason number four reason number four is very obvious It is a performance most of the Middle Eastern fragrances come in the Oud Parfum version So they last very long and as I mentioned they have oak moss things like oak moss pure sandalwood uh, uh, then uh, Rosewood and they also have agarwood these actually help in the longevity of the perfume hence the performance is amazing silage is beautiful and very long lasting the projection is actually very very decent and no perfume no perfume can compare to the performance of a good Middle Eastern fragrance for example 24 gold try it out try it out guys some of the fragrant uh, oils 
uh, which they have if applied on clothes can last for weeks I'm being really honest guys if applied on clothes it can really last on weeks so reason number five now reason number five is variety when we think about Middle Eastern fragrances we are you know we have this pres presumed notion in our mind that it is going to be an oud blend or an agarwood blend so guys let me clear this out these guys work uh, they use the natural ingredients and they make perfumes by the traditional methods such as steam distillation these perfumeries are still existent in the western society and are called as niche brands because it is very expensive the process of making uh, these perfumes especially the ones where uh, the oud the oud chips it's, it's it's a wood it's a fungus which covers wood that wood those wood chips are actually uh, you know exposed to steam it goes through a lot of process it's very difficult and these perfumes uh, you know take a lot of time uh, to be made and that really comes out nicely when the when the final product is ready you can actually experience that they have oriental they have mostly oriental range but also occidental range occidental is basically something like a french perfume uh, range which has a lot of alcohol in it the fragrant oils are diluted but still they last for a very long time you can get florals you can get aromatic fragrances leather based fragrances woods fruity fragrances you name it and they have it i'm going to showcase a lot of perfumes that i have with me so i can you know help you make choices wisely as these perfumes are not so rarely available and the worst part is that not much information is available on the internet and the names of course are quite confusing they are not uh, you know giving us a clear picture because most of them have arabic uh, alphabet and it is very difficult for us to read uh, anyway so reason number six reason number six is of course a long shelf life as you know my perfume oils have do not do not come with an expiry date uh, the general consensus is that as the perfume ages it becomes more mature more appealing more stronger in character the blend is much better to use and some fragrances have, you know are there which can which have lasted 20 30 years for many people uh, in my experience also i know those people do, who those who have those older bottles and are still doing a great job as compared to western fragrances or designer fragrances this is a very big plus point it is just because of the higher concentration of the oil every perfume contains oil there's 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 a ratio between the oil and the alcohol the denatured alcohol invest in western perfumeries uh, since most of uh, most of the places have a good nice cold weather these guys can actually pull off udi toilets but it becomes very difficult for people living in india or the middle east where there's a lot of heat wave we have a lot of humidity a subtropical or tropical climate does not allow us to use the udi toilets this is the reason why crete for some people do not perform at all and those guys really get disheartened because a lot of uh, uh, you know hard work goes into uh, you know uh, earning money and so much money uh, when you're putting it into a fragrance you should get a good value for that so definitely you are going to, you are going to get a great value for your fragrances here and there's also one more important thing because of the longer shelf life there is no fear of reformulations so these fragrances uh, you know it, it's very safe for me to say that they do not get watered down uh, because these last a very long time and you don't have the fear of uh, you know putting in a putting an amount of money for something uh, which you have always used which you have always loved but when you start using it the new formulation is absolutely different or it's so watered down that it really irritates you or really makes you cry point number eight point number eight uh, sorry point number seven point number seven is customization my friends this customization uh, is the most important uh, offering by a middle eastern house uh, for me because i have many of us we do not like everything that a perfume has to offer maybe some of us like particular notes a particular uh, you know blends in uh, the perfume and there may be a few notes which we absolutely don't like so we cannot customize a perfume when we are getting uh, it's like something something like buying a prepaid 
um, mobile mobile sim okay you are not getting a lot of options uh, here the perfume is tailor made according to your choices if you like jasmine you can put a lot of jasmine if you like the, the concentration of sandal oil, sandalwood oil more in your perfumes you can put sandalwood oil you can put a lot of a lot of notes in there and make a cocktail according to your choices it works really well customization is a big big thing for me and it is absolutely wonderful that we are getting customized perfumes for us it is actually a luxury you can have your own choice of bottle whether, whether be it glass or be it plastic beautiful looking bottles elegant looking bottles um, um, it's very good you know you can show off uh, not actually show off but actually carry it with pride uh, that you have something uh, of your own you know you've made a perfume of your own it's like making your own perfume so that's a really big plus plus for the Middle Eastern fragrances reason number eight is that I call them affordable luxury definitely because you get all the compliments not just because of the presentation the presentations are so beautiful on these perfumes that it really uh, catches a lot of attention for example i am going to show you two fragrances and just tell me how beautiful the presentation is look at this velvet box this blue navy blue colored velvet box and look at that beautiful bottle that old vintage uh, glass bottle okay and we have that soft velvet inside can you read that? It is Oud Mukhalat. It's a beautiful perfume. It's not your animalic barnyard perfume. Oud, this is Mukhalat. Mukhalat means mixed in Arabic. So it has got a very nice, comfortable blend of Oud. And a lot of ingredients like rose, jasmine, lily, uh, sandalwood, and uh, that we have saffron, okay, amber. And uh, it comes out, you know, it's very difficult to pick up the notes here, but it becomes a really nice blend which works for you I'm going to show you the second perfume that I have here which has a beautiful presentation this is Ajmal's Abiya this is beautiful it's a beautiful floral musky fragrance for the lovely ladies out there just have a look at that have a look at that bottle guys have a look at that bottle okay such a neat looking beautiful bottle and the smell is just absolutely um, wonderful it's so different so spectacular this has to be tried and I'm going to give a full review of this I have a lot of perfumes to review and this is on my hit list for you just for you just try it out guys if you can get it uh, if you can go to the Ajmal uh, outlets in your cities please go out and test these out these are really good so these are affordable luxury not just because of the presentation but um, they have great performance a great looking bottles uh, and you can customize them so absolutely this is wonderful and they come at very affordable prices guys this perfume is so beautiful it, it actually smells like something which Francis Kirkajan would create uh, something would Roja Dove would create but still it is so affordable I can go out there uh, to an Ajmal outlet it is so widely available in India I can get it for some uh, some somewhere around 3,500 rupees or 4,000 rupees so that comes around uh, say 50 US dollars 40 US dollars isn't that so affordable I won't say it's cheap it's definitely affordable okay so reason number nine is value for money see you are getting a higher quality you are getting more concentration of the perfume it is going to last you long the range for Oud can start from $30 and can go up very high uh, up to 2500 US dollars for a very minute quantity something like this this is Bakur Khas one of the most amazing offerings by the house of Ajmal you see that you see that amount of oil which I have as sample you know the actual bottle which you can see here carries only 3 ml of this and it costs well above uh, 3000 rupees 4000 rupees so you can imagine that the oud or the other ingredients are really expensive but still you have a lot of choices you can go in for the higher quality oud if you don't like the animalic barn, barnyard smell you have a lot of options my friends for the nicer uh, you know more comfortable blend of oud uh, you can get them for a really nice price you are getting all the original ingredients uh, very good performance so this is definitely top notch value for money and reason number 10 guys the formulations are not just limited to the perfume 
they also have a lot of stuff which needs introduction and I'm going to do that for you. They have deodorants, some deodorants which I bought during this trip last more than the Udi Parfum versions of many perfumes that I have. Their deodorants are wonderful and there's something called as Bakur or the scented incense. I'll just show you the box. Okay, and I'll show you how to use it. Basically, these are scented incense. Some of these contain oud, a lot of oud and a lot of exotic material. This is not like your regular agarbattis that we use in India for the temples. This is very high class, sophisticated stuff. And I burnt some uh, today and I let my uh, room, you know, take in all the smell. I opened the cupboards as I was suggested and my clothes are also smelling of this beautiful exotic smell which I like you see those hash balls these are little balls okay beautiful scent my friends beautiful scent you just have to put a little bit on uh, burnt charcoal or burnt wood and just put it inside you know somewhere place it properly um, safely inside your room uh, cover all the doors and windows leave it for about two to three hours open it later and see the magic I am going to demonstrate to you, I use something like this. This is a cup where I put burnt uh, wood uh, pieces and I put this little bakur which does a lot of magic. I also have wonderful expensive ones which I got a sample from the nice warm Ajmal people and I would love to demonstrate everything for you. Now talking about the rare ingredients. Now you have the 10 reasons, I'm going to talk about the rare ingredients. Ami Sombre, this is uh, the first perfume that came from this house. It has got actual black musk. The presentation is something like an Amouage's presentation. Look at this little card inside, okay. I'm gonna take it out for you and show you how beautiful this presentation is. Have a look at this. Have a look at this guys. They have actually given the scent profile, the scent pyramid, top notes, middle notes, bottom notes. Do you see that rich musky, animalic rich musky uh, mentioned there? It actually has black musk. Ask me, I am an Indian guy. We have uh, been using black, black musk since ages. Now it's banned by the government of India, but I know how it smells and this actually smells like it. Wonderful. This is something which I bought from Ajmal, this is Visal thing, okay, this is such a beautiful perfume, it's called Visal, it's got such a beautiful musk, my friends, okay, and best part is most of these perfumes are absolutely unisex, absolutely beautiful perfume, my friends, I'm going to discuss about all these. So I've given you 10 solid reasons why to use or why to try Middle Eastern fragrances. Now, of course, it's not just the merits that need mention. I'm going to mention some demerits also. And the first one is that these are so rare. So it's very difficult to try locally until unless you are visiting Dubai or uh, you are lucky to have an Ajmal or Al Ahramain outlet in your city. You cannot just try them. So blind buy is absolutely a no-no. From my side, I would advise you never to blind buy a Middle Eastern fragrance, especially the fragrance oils. I am going to fill the gap. I am going to discuss each and every fragrance with you, the types of fragrances, the terminologies associated with Middle Eastern fragrances, which is going to help you um, um, to decide to choose wisely what you want and uh, choose the best for your budget. Reason number two, as that these uh, are uh, the reason number two is these fragrances are also prone prone to allergies. Don't think that natural fragrances or natural aller, uh, natural ingredients cannot cause allergies. They can. That is reason number two. So don't think that you are very safe people with medical problems, especially with allergies. Please be aware. Test it out on your skin first. Okay. Don't go for the big spray. It might just knock you out. Reason number three. The oils, most of these fragrance, uh, fragrances come in the oil format and it can actually stay in your clothes. Unless somebody who is experienced can show you how to do it. I'm going to do it for you, so don't worry about it. And reason number four, that it is absolutely an acquired taste. Guys, oud can be very misleading. If you use the oud, the highest quality of oud, the first impression, the top note is not going to impress you because it actually smells very pungent, very animalic, very leathery, very rubbery. Later on, it shows you the real magic. Okay, so it is an acquired taste. It takes time getting used to. 
So go out and try these ouds and start with the cheapest oud. Then keep on exploring more and more. If you like it, you can go with mixed ouds. You can go for the simpler Indonesian oud before you try out the Cambodian oud or the Indian Assamese oud. These are quite potent. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed my video. I am going to talk about all these perfumes in detail. I am so lucky these guys have given me 